All right, guys, we have to go back and talk to Bailey. Find this Fade person. Yes? Yes, we're looking for Fade. I'm trying to find a local forger. He goes by the name of Fade. Yeah, I know him. The alias, anyway. He's been a thorn in the network division's side for the last year. He works with the Blue Suns. Where can we find him? <laughs> if I knew that, he'd be in a cell. Best I can do is put you on the trail. There's a warehouse in the marketplace. Some of Fade's contacts work out of there. Go ask them some questions. Gently, of course. Uh, is there a reason you can't find this guy? Why haven't you been able to catch him? Whoever he is, he's damn good at avoiding CSEC. I think someone on the inside's feeding him information. Either that, or he's got access to our databases and comm channels. I don't know which is worse. But you're outside, CSEC. Maybe you can nail his ass. All right, well, I'll see what we can do. And I'll keep you posted. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know. Okay. This looks like the place. The f I just got a refund in exchange, and I was told to pick up a new Omni Jail converter here. I don't think you have the right place. No, they said to go to the warehouse. This is the warehouse. Yeah, okay. Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. It's a Cision Omni Jail converter. He said there'd be. Fade? You're not quite how I imagined you. Looks can be deceiving. So, which one of you wants to disappear? I'd rather see you make someone reappear. Ah, uh, that's not the service we provide. Make an exception. Just this once. Damn it! Quick! Shoot them! Shoot them, you lumbering mouth! Uh, that's too slow. Yeah, they're dead. Why do I even bother? Uh, yeah, we need to talk now. We're looking for someone. A client of yours. Not mine. I'm not Fade. I just work for him. Sort of. I knew it. Well, then maybe you'd like to tell us where to find him. Dead, yes, of course. He's in the factory district. Works out of the old prefab foundry. I know the place. Oh, he's got a lot of mercs there. Blue Suns. Harkin thinks they're protecting him. Wait, 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 wait. Harkin? Are we talking about, you know, the guy that was in uh, the bar that tried to make a pass at me? He's an idiot. How the hell did Harkin end up being the Fade? Well... He got fired from CSEC a while back. Not surprising. He used his knowledge of CSEC and their systems to help a few people disappear. Then he made himself disappear, and Fade was born, so to speak. Interesting. But it changes nothing. We still need to find him before we can get to Sedonis. All right, well, let's go. Well, let's go pay Harkin a visit. We'll need to go to the transit station. I can get us to him from there. So I, uh... I can go? Sure, but if we don't find Harkin, we'll be back for you. Oh, good. Okay, so... We have Harkin to deal with. This isn't gonna be that hard to do, for one thing. He's a freaking idiot. Try, I remember him. What was Cora's Den? He was in Cora's Den and he thought that his lines were somehow going to do something. I don't know. But I remember saying something about I'd rather eat nails or something like that. Yeah, he's a freaking idiot. Let's go. Let's go deal with him real quick.
There you are. There he is. Shepard? Yeah. Don't just stand there. Stop them. Stop them. Coward. Whatever you want, Harkin, we'll find you. Yeah, we will. Hostiles up ahead. Oh, hey. because of shot ready. Felt that one. All right. Well, they went down easy. All right, we're gonna grab all of that. Okay, we have some mechs to deal with. Hostile forces have engaged. Okay. That one was still moving around. Whoa! Taking fire. Woo! -hoo. Excuse me. Human enter offline. Status failure. Weapon ready. You're dead. Allied force casualty. You're dead. All right, there's somebody. Wait, 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 wait. Hostile forces have engaged. Hostile forces have engaged. Temple. Battle systems engaged. Rerouting power. Come on. Impact imminent. Collision proximity warning. Is he gonna blow up? I think he's gonna blow up. No? Okay, now you're dead. Wall safe. Anything over here? Harkin's in here somewhere. I can smell him. You can smell him, huh? I mean, he's a coward, so of course he's gonna hide. Here we go. Oh. <clears throat> Deploying oh. combat drone. Ah. Ah. Trouble in Whoa. Hostile forces have Excuse me. Bye. Hostile forces have engaged. Are you dead? Are you dead? Rerouting power. Nice shot. Scratch one. Nice, nice, nice. Where are they? Where are they? Uh, there you are. I need cover. Engaging hostiles. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Impact imminent. <laughs> <laughs> You're dead. Then stay down. Ah. Impressive. All right, you're dead. Right there.
Where's the next one? Where's the next one? Where is it? There it is. We're getting close. Taking cover! Enemy! <laughs> All right. everything okay what the hell is Hawking up to I don't know what we're about to find out what is this oh a wall safe All right, are we ready? All right, let's do it. So Harkin's finally gone completely bad. He was always a pain in the ass, but I'm in no mood for his games. If he doesn't cooperate, I'll beat him within an inch of his life. Uh, uh okay. Garrus, let's talk about this. You seem to be getting tense, Garrus. Harkin may know why Sedonis wanted to disappear. If so, he knows why we're here, and I don't want him tipping Sedonis off. Okay, makes sense. Did you see that? I saw something. He's getting ready for us. Uh, yeah. All right, well, let's talk about this warehouse. What do you think Harkin's got waiting for us in there? Not sure. It looks like an industrial complex. Heavy machinery. Could be anything. Something's in there. Probably more blue suns. Harkin's kind of trapped himself in a corner. He must have something in store for us. Uh, yeah. And we already saw one huge mech, so I'm thinking maybe a couple more. That's what I'm thinking. All right, let's talk about Harkin. What are you going to do to Harkin if he won't cooperate? He's a real criminal now, working for the Blue Suns. I should just shoot him on sight. But I need him alive, so I won't do any permanent damage. Just enough to loosen his tongue. Okay, well, let's just not go too far, okay? Because we can hand him over to c -Sec. You don't need to hurt him to get what you want. Don't worry, Harkin's a coward. He'll talk long before I can really hurt him. That's true. All right, let's go get him. Well, there's one way to find out. Right behind you. I'll take it. All right. It's 
sniper rifle damage. That's what we need. Shepard, I have patched into the warehouse scanners. The crates in the transport carriers overhead are rigged to explode when dropped. Good to know. Why don't you just turn around? Wait, wait, wait. Hostiles! Wait, wait, wait. Rigged to explode? Oh. Alright, hold on. Mm. Backup systems engaged. Gotcha. I don't ah, see any explosions. They should soften them up. Excuse me. Oh. God damn it, I missed that one. Got one. Look. I see you hiding over there. <laughs> Seriously, that should have killed you. Nice one. Thank you. Mm. Heads up. Excuse me. Who's over there? Ah. You're dead. Careful. I'm hacking down one power. You're dead. Firing. Now finish them off. Uh. 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 Oh. I'm out of ammo. Yes. Did we get him? Oh, we got him. Uh. Whoa, we didn't get somebody. Uh. Got the shot ready. Nice, Scaris. Thank you. Who's next? Ah! I need some ammo. I need ammo. Do we have any ammo? Did any ammo drop? Some over here. Thank you. All right, let's move on. Well, you're hiding. So that's pretty much the I same thing. Regret this. Oh crap. Two heavy mechs. Incoming. Okay. We need yes, I can take you down. We need to plan accordingly. Get over here. Get over here. Grabbing cover. Tally, seriously, get your ass over here. Going right. Uh, uh. 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 Come on, guys, come on. Combat drone ready. Let's switch to shotgun. Oh. Ah, taking heavy fire! Come on, come on, come on! Ah. Ah. Almost, almost! Ah. Take him out! Power weapons. That one's down. Combat drone ready. Take him out. Firing eye impact 
shot. There we go. All right, we got some ammo. Uh, yeah, I will. We took out your 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 giant mechs. Come on now. Oh, you think those guys shield. are really going to uh, stop us? Allied force casualty. Uh, yeah, yeah. Harkin, you're an idiot. You were close, but not close enough. So, Fade, couldn't make yourself disappear, huh? Come on, Garrus, we can work this out. What do you need? I'm looking for someone. Well, I guess we both have something the other one wants. Well, that was the wrong answer, wasn't it? We're not here to ask favors, Harkin. You don't say. You helped a friend of mine disappear. I need to find him. I might need a little more information than that. His name was Sedonis. Turian came from the... I know who he is, and I'm not telling you squat. Hey, you're a dumbass. Just frickin' tell us. Is this information really worth all the trouble? I don't give out client information. It's bad for business. You know what else is bad for business? A broken neck. Uh, all right, all right, get off me! Uh, Terminus really changed you, huh, Garrett? No, but Sidonis opened my eyes. Now arrange a meeting. going. Yeah, it's me. There's a chance your identity may be compromised. That's why I'm calling. I'm sending an agent. Where do you want to meet? All right, he'll be there. Don't worry, I got it covered. That was smart. It's all good. He wants to meet you in front of Orbital Lounge, middle of the day. So if our business is done, I'll be going. I don't think so. You're a criminal now, Harkin. So what? You're just gonna kill me? That's not your style, Garrus. Kill you? No. But I don't mind slowing you down a little. No. You don't need to shoot him. He won't be able to hide from CSEC now. I guess it's your lucky day. Yeah, I hope we can do this again real soon. I didn't shoot him. Come on, let's move. Sedonis better be there, or I'm coming back to finish the job. Harkin's a bloody menace. We shouldn't have just let him go. He deserved to be punished. Yeah, except that he's not worth it, Garrus. And I'm more concerned about you right now. Getting a little worried about you, Garrus. You were pretty hard on Harkin. You don't think he deserved it? This is not like you. What do you want from me, Shepard? What would you do if someone betrayed you? I honestly, I, well, I have been betrayed. <laughs> I have been betrayed. Uh, I handled it differently and I, but I can't tell you that I wouldn't have handled this differently, this situation differently. I don't, I don't know, but I have to stay true to who I am. I'm not sure, but I wouldn't let it change me. 
I would have said the same thing before it happened to me. It's not too late. You don't have to go through with this. Who's going to bring Sedonis to justice if I don't? Nobody else knows what he's done. Nobody else cares. I don't see any other options. What about trying to give me a chance? Let me talk to him. Talk all you want, but it won't change my mind. I don't care what his reasons were. He screwed us. He deserves to die. Do you really believe that, Garrett? Do you really believe that? I understand what you're going through, but do you really want to kill him? I appreciate your concern, but I'm not you. This isn't you either. Really? I've always hated injustice. The thought that Sidonis could get away with this. Why should he go on living while ten good men lie in unmarked graves? I'm sorry, Shepard. Words aren't going to solve this problem. I need to set up. I can get a clear shot from over there. All right. Well, how is this going to work? What do you need me to do? Keep him talking and don't get in my way. I'll let you know when he's in my sights. Give me a signal so I know you're ready, and I'll take the shot. You better go. He'll be here soon. Shepard, can you hear me? Loud yep. and clear. All right. There he is. Wave him over and keep him talking. Let's get this over with. You're in my shot. Move to the side. Uh, <laughs> no, Sedonis. So you need to know what's going on. Listen, Sedonis. I'm here to help you. Don't ever say that name aloud. I'm a friend of Garrus's. He wants you dead, but I'm hoping that's not necessary. Garrus, is this some kind of joke? Damn it, Shepard. If he moves, I'm taking the shot. You're not kidding, are you? Screw this. I'm not sticking around here to find out. Tell Garrus I had my own problems. Don't move. Get off me! I'm the only thing standing between you and a hole in the head. Fuck. Look, I didn't want to do it. I didn't have a choice. Everyone has a choice. They got to me. Said they'd kill me if I didn't help. What was I supposed to do? Let me take the shot, Shepard. He's a damn coward. No, we're gonna keep talking. I need to know what, what happened. That's it? You were just trying to save yourself? I know what I did. I know they died because of me. And I have to live with that. I wake up every night, sick and sweating. Each of their faces staring at me, accusing me. I'm already a dead man. I don't sleep. Food is no taste. Some days, I just want it to be over. Just give me the chance. No, Garrus, don't do this. He he's he's paying for his choices. He's gonna suffer for this for the rest of his life. This is his sentence. You gotta let it go, Garrus. He's already paying for his crime. He hasn't paid enough. He still has his life. Look at him, Garrus, he's not alive. There's nothing left to kill. My men, they deserved better. Tell Garrus. I guess there's nothing I can say to make it right. Just go. Tell him to go. All right, Sedonis. You got real lucky today. He's giving you a second chance, Sedonis. Don't waste it. I'll try, Garrus. I'll make it up to you somehow. Thank you for talking to him. I know you want to talk about this, but I don't. Not yet. I understand. I do. And I know you're going to need some time, but I just want you to know this, this was the right choice. 
I know it didn't go the way you planned, but I think it's for the best. I'm not so sure. Give it time. Yeah. Maybe that'll be enough. I want to know I did the right thing, not just for me. For my men. They deserve to be avenged. But when Sidonis was in my sights, I just couldn't do it. And I completely understand. I mean, first of all, he was someone that what you considered a friend at one point in time. It is really hard to point a gun at someone you once cared about or even still care about. And it, it, this 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 was rough. This was very rough. And I, I still I understand. I understand what you're going through, both the good and the bad. The lines between good and evil blur when we're looking at people we know. Yeah, there was still good in him. I could see it. So much easier to see the world in black and white. Gray, I don't know what to do with gray. Sometimes I don't know what to do with gray either. The only thing I can tell you is to trust your gut, trust your heart. It's the only thing I can tell you. You gotta go with your instincts. My instincts are what got me into this mess. Don't be too hard on yourself. Thanks, Shepard. For everything. Let's get going. I need some distance from this place. I'm with you. All right. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Oh, okay. Um, I'll check that in my quarters because I gotta go down and feed my fish. Look at you guys. You guys are gay. Oh, you guys are so pretty. Let's feed you. Make sure that you don't die on me. I got a new model, too. Look at them. They all look kind of nice. Okay, let's check our mail. Update on the kid. Hey, Shepard, just wanted to let you know that the Drell kid's doing okay. Everything's taken care of legally, and he's doing some work for me. Helping me deal with some trash in the wards. Maybe make life better for some of the kids like Mouse. Not perfect, but then what is? Don't know if your Drell and mine are talking. I hope... I told him life was too short not to, but I don't know if it took. Good luck out there. Well, thank you, Bailey. I appreciate it. I think I think they will. It's just going to take some time. Oh, hi. Hi, Presley. <laughs> You're so cute. All right, let's go check in with Garrus. Uh, where's Garrus? This way. Weren't you originally stationed on Horizon? Yes. If I hadn't joined Cerberus, I'd be abducted by the Collectors right now. Wow. What have you done? Yeah. All right, Garrus, let's talk. Shepard, need me for something? Do you have a minute, or do you need more time? Have you got a minute? Sure, just killing time anyway. I wanted to thank you again for your help with Sedonis. Whatever happens with the Collectors or the Reapers or whoever else comes after us, I know you'll get the job done. Whoever else? <laughs> really? I think the Reapers are enough. You actually think we'll find something worse than Collectors or Reapers? I like to expect the worst. There's a small chance I'll be pleasantly surprised. <laughs> well, I'm really glad that you are here with me. I'm glad that you have trusted me this whole time and that you've been having my back. And I can't really begin to express how grateful I am and how much I admire and respect you for that. I couldn't do this without you, Garrus. Sure you could. Not as stylishly, of course. It's strange going into a suicide mission on a human ship. Your people don't prepare for high-risk operations the way Turians do. Really? What about Ilos? I thought you'd be used to high-risk operations on human ships. I mean, think about trekking Saren to Ilos. Sure, but that was quick. We raced out, landed, blew up some geth, and saved the galaxy. This time we've got Miranda and Cerberus and that AI all telling us what we're up against. I think I preferred blind optimism. <laughs> blind optimism? Really? Okay. What do you think our chances are? Because I don't know. Honestly, Garrus, what do you think our chances are? Honestly? The Collectors killed you once and all they did is piss you off. I can't imagine they'll stop you this time. But an unmapped area, advanced technology, and the Collectors. We're going to lose people. No way around that. Not a happy analysis, I know. Don't worry. I won't spread it around. And I'm with you regardless. I know, and I really, 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 really appreciate that. You have no idea. 
All right, let's talk about you and CSAC, though. Do you ever regret leaving CSAC or the Turing military? Not for a minute. When it comes down to it, Shepard, I don't think I'm a very good Turian. Really? When a good Turian hears a bad order, he follows it. He might complain, but he knows his place. I just don't see the point in staying quiet and polite. Not when the galaxy is at stake. Me personally, I think that makes you an exceptional Turian, but it also just makes you an exceptional person. You have, you have your foundation. You have your sense of right and wrong, and you don't for the most part, deviate from that. What are, out of curiosity, the Turian preparations for something like this? How do Turian crews get ready for high-risk missions? With violence, usually. Turian ships have more operational discipline than your alliance, but fewer personal restrictions. Our commanders run us tight, and they know we need to blow off steam. Turian ships have training rooms for exercise, combat sims, even full-contact sparring. Whatever lets people work off stress. So wait, 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 wait. Full contact sparring? You mean Turian ships have crewmen fighting each other before a mission? It's supervised, of course. Nobody's going to risk an injury that interferes with the mission, and it's a good way to settle grudges amicably. I remember right before one mission, we were about to hit a Batarian pirate squad. Very risky. This recon scout and I had been at each other's throats. Nerves, mostly. She suggested we settle it in the ring. Oh yeah, how did it go? I assume you took her down gently. Actually, she and I were the top-ranked hand-to-hand -hand specialists on the ship. I had reach, but she had flexibility. It was brutal. After nine rounds, the judge called it a draw. There were a lot of unhappy betters in the training room. We uh, ended up holding a tiebreaker in her quarters. I had reach, but uh, she had flexibility. More than one way to work off stress, I guess. That is very true. And an interesting tale. And you just planted something into my head and gave me an idea. And I am going to propose something to you. And I hope you don't take it the wrong way, but you know, we, we, we could ease stress together. I mean, I sure as hell could use it after everything, after my breakup with Caden and coming back from the dead, that seems to be the biggest deal that I'm still dealing with. I mean, I died and I'm about to take everyone into another situation where we may all die. So yeah, I could really use some stress relief. It sounds like you're carrying some tension. Maybe I could help you get rid of it. I uh, didn't think you'd feel like sparring, Commander. That's not what I meant. What if we skipped right to the tiebreaker? We could test your reach and my flexibility. Oh, I didn't. Hmm. Never knew you had a weakness for men with scars. Well, why the hell not? There's nobody in this galaxy I respect more than you, and if we can figure out a way to make it work, then... Yeah, definitely. I mean... I've never experienced another species before, so that will be interesting. But also, again, no one in this galaxy that I respect more than you. So the fact that we have this mutual respect for each other, this mutual trust, we have each other's backs, I think, I think it might work. We could try at least. Worst comes to worst, we won't lose each other as fellow soldiers and as comrades and as friends because of the respect that we have for each other. So, yeah, I can't believe that I'm thinking about that, but yeah, I could really use it to, yeah, I could definitely use it. 